Hello, and welcome to our daily reflections from St Mary Magdalene's with St Martin's Church on Thursday the 23rd of July. Our readings for today are in front of you. If you haven't had a chance already, do take a look at them now. Let's focus on the reading from Samuel this morning, because it marks a turning point in the history of Israel. This is the true end of the era of the Judges, which we have followed for the past few weeks, an era for Israel in which the nation would mire itself in sin, turning away from God. The surrounding nations would take advantage of its weak state, and God would have mercy and send a judge to rescue the nation. There's a phrase that keeps cropping up throughout this period. In those days there was no king in Israel. The people did what was right in their own eyes. This was true for many of the judges themselves. Samson was an impulsive bruiser who simply wanted an easy life and pleasure. Gideon set up idols and a little religion of his own. Jephthah massacred many of one of Israel's tribes because they had insulted him. But now, at a time in which they are governed by Samuel himself, the greatest of the judges, and one of the few who served God alone for his whole life, the Israelites decide that what they really need is a king. The idea of Israel had always been that they would have a special relationship with God. If they simply kept their side of the bargain, the covenant, then God would rule over them, and they would serve him. Through the Israelites' human propensity to sin, that never worked out. They always looked at the nations around them and thought the grass was greener on the other side. Better gods, better government, better customs. It was in an effort to be like the nations around them that the Israelites came to Samuel here and asked for a king. And they wouldn't listen to Samuel's warnings about what having a king would mean. They would essentially be enslaved to another human being, one whose concerns would be for his own interests, not for theirs. It should be encouraging for us that despite this, God did not abandon them. Because the Israelites were no worse than we are in their rejection of God's government. Every day we each, in our own particular ways, will choose to do what we want rather than what God wants for us. We hear God's call to us, he to whom we owe everything, and we turn a deaf ear and do what we want anyway. But God loves us despite this. We see this throughout the Bible. God did not abandon Israel, and he doesn't abandon us. He simply waits for us to realise what we've done and come back to him in repentance. We should do this daily. The rewards for following God are infinitely greater than the rewards for following our own way.